Hi, it's Mark Coleman from Paul's Photo, the lab at Paul's Photo and the Creative Photo Academy. We're packing for safari in Africa. It's an amazing and challenging adventure. And many of you are worried about, oh my gosh, Mark, how much clothes do you need to bring? What do you need to bring to be successful in Africa? Well, I'm packed. This is my bag for a month. We're doing three workshops back to back in, in Africa. Three weeks, I'll be gone 30 days to Africa. And this is all you need to bring. You know, last night we showed you how to pack the camera bag. And depending on how sophisticated a photographer you are, your camera bag is going to vary. But no matter who you are, your suitcase, your travel case for safari needs to be the same. A couple things I want to caution you about. We all are going to bring our cell phones, and that's great. You're going to be able to call sometimes out in the field. You're going to have Wi-Fi connection in the camps sometimes. We can't count on the cell phone for communication to have all our paperwork in it. Many of us do that. So that's why I'm always sure to have my passport someplace near and dear to me so it's protected. Some of you are going to use a neck wallet or a waist wallet or a sock wallet. Mine's always right here, and this pocket is is buttoned so I have the passport with me. I have my glasses. I always have an extra pair of glasses in my suitcase. And finally, I have my folio. And in this folio are the boarding passes, the hotel reservations, the contact information, who I'm going to talk to, my emergency contact information. And this folio is going to go right here in the front pocket of my, of my camera bag. But you should all have a folio like this that's someplace you can get to it right away. Very important. A couple other things about safari. I've got my hat. You need a broad brimmed hat and one with a leash because when you're driving in the Jeep or it's windy, you're going to want to strap the hat on. Let's talk about colors. Colors for safari are muted pastels, earth tones, khaki, olive green, olive drab. You need to stay away from dark colors like black or navy blue or dark brown or dark purple. You need to stay away from whites and neons and stuff like that. The darks, because it attracts the flies. The neons, because we don't know how it's gonna affect the animals. And as a courtesy to the park rangers, we don't wear camo, because camo is the color of the poachers. So to support them, we wear clothes like this. And I am dressed for safari. I'm gonna wear this on the airplane. You're going to be surprised at what I bring in my bag here because it's not a lot. I mean, this is a normal sized gym bag. A couple things, I've got two luggage tags on it. So in case one of the luggage tags gets worn off, rubbed off, you know, I had my name stitched to the top so that we can see who this belongs to. I'm going to show you three other secret weapons for my travel here. The first one is an Omni charge. And this is a lithium ion battery that I can use to charge my cell phone, my camera batteries. Now, this can't travel in the suitcase. It has to go in my carry-on bag for the airplane. But I carry the Omni charge. Why? So that I can charge up to 10 camera batteries or charge my full laptop on a battery like this, even if we don't have power in the lodge. Second secret weapon is an extension cord a dumb regular extension cord thick wire with the proper plug adapter for where we're going. So where we're going in Africa on this trip, we use the two pin European adapter. I also have in the bag the three pin British adapter. So why do I have this? Because in your room, in your tent, will be one power outlet to use. And we all have more than one thing to plug in. So now I have three outlets to use to plug that in. Third secret weapon that I have is a small little backpack. And what is this used for? This is used to carry your stuff every day in the Jeep. Your water bottle, your sunscreen, girls, your purse, your, your uh, uh, jacket, raincoat. So some of the women carry a beach tote, a small beach tote that folds up real small. Serves the same purpose, but you want to have a bag to get your stuff that you want to carry in the Jeep with you every day. Now, what do I take? Three sets of clothes. I'm wearing one 
and I'm carrying two. Look at the colors, right? Khaki, olive, green, right? The natural colors, three sets of clothes. I'm gonna do laundry every day. I'm either gonna wash my own or I'm gonna have the people in the camp do the washing for me. Three shirts, including the one I'm wearing. Three pair of pants, including the one I'm wearing. A light jacket windbreaker because it's chilly in the morning. Remember, in my camera bag are a raincoat and a stocking hat all the time in case it gets rainy. But I have a, a windbreaker jacket here. Two more pair of underwear because I'm wearing one and I have two. Two pair of socks because I'm wearing one and I have two. Now, tonight before I pack the camera bag, I'm going to put an extra pair of socks and underwear in the camera bag in case all my luggage gets lost and I'm ready to go. A t-shirt for wearing around camp, and I thought, what's better than one of our LA Zoo photo day t-shirts? How cool is that? Now, some ladies, you're going to want a sundress or a wrap or something like that to wear around camp in the afternoon. I've got a pair of swim trunks and a pair of shorts. That's the clothing. You can throw another thing or so in, but remember, this bag wants to be around 25 pounds. That's where I am. Second pair of shoes. I always carry two pair of shoes. I have one on. The same, actually they're a little bit different color, but these are my Merrill Moabs. I love those. A pair of flip-flops to get me back and forth to the pool and around camp. My toilet kit. Sha uh, uh, a shaver, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, uh, sunscreen, vitamin pills, uh, all that kind of stuff goes in here. And finally, my camera kit, battery chargers, cleaning kit, memory cards, all that kind of stuff, charging cables, all that stuff goes in here. So this is what I carry on Safari to Africa. It's what I recommend that you would carry to have a successful, fun, amazing trip. Now, if we're going on safari to Yellowstone in the winter, we're going to take a different kit. Or to Alaska, a different kit. But for an African photo safari, this is what I recommend. It's for me between 20 and 25 pounds. That gives me plenty of room for my camera bag to have fun and have an amazing experience. Mark Komen from Paul's Photo, the Lab at Paul's Photo, and the Creative Photo Academy. I'm going on safari tomorrow. When are you going to join us?